Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab, which is a continuation to the previous lab session. Now we have made, made the change to validate.sh to ping on port 8080. And now, are we good? Or we still need to make some changes? On run.sh, first of all, okay, before that, we have deleted node underscore module and any which ways, even if it was there on local, it was never going on our code repository because it is in git ignore. And package hyphen log dot json was also deleted. So unless we do npm install, there is no way for this node module package directory with all the libraries and code that our application needs to run to be regenerated. So npm install is needed. And then our package.json has a start script. So all we need to do is we need to leverage the start script of package.json by doing npm start. And why are we using PM2 once again? Uh, here, because if it does not run with PM2, because when we do npm start, it, it starts the server with PM2. If it does not do so, then validate.sh will not be able to run the commands because the command line will not be free, right? Let us save this. Any other change? I don't think so. I think we should be good as far as code is concerned. Yes, validate is also good now. And install was always good. Great. Okay. So what is the git status as of now? Hmm. We need to commit and push run.sh as well. Great. So git add git commit message is modified run dot sh script because we have already pushed the validate script and then git push okay great so code wise we should be good but let us do the build once again so that this latest code is packaged and uploaded here. And then we will do the deployment. But before deployment, do you think in terms of configuration we are good? Because validate.sh is pinging on port 8080 and port 8080 is not open on our security group. So why don't we go ahead and take care of that? Yep, it's not open here. So, edit and add a rule where 8080 will be open for all the IPs. Save rule. Great. Now I think we should be good if we have not Okay, making any mistakes, no, we are not. Then all we need to do is refresh, go through the same drill again. We know what we need to do. Make public, exit after making public and copy the URI and let us go to code deploy. Applications, okay. And this is the deployment group that we are interested in deploying on. Create deployment. Yes, please pick up the package from here, which is a zip file, and then please deploy. Fingers crossed. What do you think, guys, will happen? Will we be able to deploy this time? Let us see. Okay, 
application stop download bundle before install install after install application start okay application start and then validate service let us see what we get in validate service succeeded congratulations so let us check this okay if we had not opened it up then ping would have given you a message connection refused so in case you get it please ensure your security group has port 8080 opened up and okay on which port now you need to open 8080 yes at least these two routes are working and let us update the ec2 environment to use the latest url which is this now okay let us remove the trailing forward slash update and select this ec2 instance i mean not the ec2 instance but the profile environment and create table now the url value is the current one which is 8080 great send successful let us validate this from now on i think it should be good we have done all the hard work now tables yep we have movies here now let us quickly run all the other apis new item added successfully looks like yes read data send yes update data and then we'll check that if the rating is 9.5 and actor's name is added or not refresh it yeah. 9.5 and actor's name is also updated great then delete data and delete table cool refresh this to confirm that table has been deleted finally we have a success that's it so in the next session we will deploy it on asg that is a fleet of easy to instances backed by auto scaling group thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next session